Hi everyone, Dr. Rachel and Nicole here from Sprout Family Chiropractic. Parents, moms, dads, aunts, anyone watching this video, we are back with another Whiteboard Wednesday. And today we're gonna to be talking about a big one. Now, the title may be a little overdramatic, the number one secret, but here's the key. The world has been talking about the vagus nerve for a long time, for adults, for athletes, for anyone wanting to biohack their nervous system, but it doesn't really get talked about enough for kids, and that's really why we wanted to go over this video, because to be honest, the vagus nerve has been under attack in kids recently, and it's been under attack from so many different sources, and if you really think about um, the stress that kids start with coming into the world throughout the pregnancy process, there's a lot of stress and anxiety and fear that's built into that, and then babies are born um, with delivery, there's a lot of stress that comes in with that, whether it be C-section or assisted delivery or a cord wrap, everything that comes in with that. Then you throw in childhood falls and traumas, you get inflammatory foods and chemicals and everything that comes with that. And even now there's so much, so much social stress and anxiousness as kids get older and as they start elementary school. So all of those things, they affect the vagus nerve. They either do one of two things. They either turn up the vagus nerve to help it do better, do more to calm, chill, rest and relax the nervous system. Or if there's too much stress, it turns down the vagus nerve to tighten it. it it stresses it out, it causes it to be fast and overreactive, more fight and flight, and all those things that turn down that vagus nerve are why we wanted to do this video to really show you all the things that you can do as parents to really help your kids. So two things that are quick and easy, uh, short-term things, and then one long-term thing that we can do to help the vagus nerve turn up, because if we turn up that volume, we turn up that kid's ability to calm, to chill, relax, to focus better, to be able to sleep better, to have that sensory calmness, to be able to play with more Legos, hang out with friends, be in loud rooms, to do all those things. So here are the three things to turn it up. The first one is a quick, easy one, and some kids are able to do this and some aren't, and it's breath work. And you can honestly Google this. There's a variety of exercises, short and long, that focus on the same thing, which is taking deep breaths from the diaphragm. So the diaphragm sits right under your lower lungs and you really wanna take a deep breath and take a series of those breaths for a minute or two, or you do something like taking a breath in for six seconds and then taking six seconds to blow up that breath out. And what that does is it stimulates the vagus nerve that starts in the upper neck, which allows the body to get more oxygen. And as the vagus nerve picks up that sensation from your body and your lungs. It actually feeds the brain more calm and chill, allowing it to rest and relax. And that's great to do with your child and count with them so they know how long to breathe in and breathe out for. And the second quick thing that you can do is really encourage singing, chanting, or humming, and things like that so that they can also stimulate the vagus nerve that way. A lot of times you may have seen a kid or even your own kid, when they're stressed, they make noises like hmm or they start humming because they're actually just intuitively trying to stimulate that vagus nerve. Even turning on music and, and really letting your kids sing, that can really help to activate and turn the vagus nerve up to help relax the body and calm, uh, to make it calm and relaxed. So there are, those are two short term things to help this nerve turn up and help your child relax. The third thing is more of a long term reset and that's what and this thing is actually what we do in Sprout, at Sprout Family Chiropractic. We measure how much stress the vagus nerve is under. Every kiddo is different. They come into the world a little, little differently. They experience different stressors along the way. So we need to measure how much stress that nerve is under, especially in that upper neck, to see, okay, how wound up is it? How overwhelmed is it? That way we can develop a plan to help, your, to help calm the body so that we can really turn up that vagus nerve's ability to regulate, boost your child's ability to heal and grow in a calm and chill manner. So if that's something that's been top of mind for you and you've tried a lot of things but they haven't necessarily been working to help your child relax, we would love for you to shoot us a message, drop a comment here because that's really what we do to help kids is to turn that vagus nerve up in, in their body. And with all the books and podcasts uh, for adults, it's not being talked about enough for children. And we need to help those, those vagus nerves in our kids come online so they're not as stressed or as anxious. So if you enjoyed this video, we wanna invite you to come to our upcoming free in-person workshop in two weeks, Thursday, July 14th, right here in our office. We'll be talking more about the vagus nerve and go more into the deep science of it. We'll provide you with more action steps to help your child not only calm, 
uh, but be able to focus better, sleep better, and so much more. And as we enter summer, our schedules and routines are changed up, and that can be a tough transition, not only for your kids, but for parents as well. So we'll put the link in the caption to register. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or shoot us a message anytime, and we'll see you on the next one.